When considering fuel cell electric vehicles for a work fleet, you must also consider hydrogen fuel supply. There are generally two options to secure hydrogen fuel supply. Hydrogen can be delivered, or it can be produced on site. In gaseous or liquid form, hydrogen can be trucked in or piped to a refueling station from a central production facility. In most cases, it is compressed and cooled throughout delivery and when in storage. Alternatively, hydrogen can be produced on site using an electrolyzer. For a refueling station, an electrolyzer would be sized to meet the fleet's fuel needs, and they are scalable, capable of growing as the fleet expands. Having on-site production ensures ample fuel supply is always available to keep fleets operational. As the hydrogen economy progresses, we'll likely see a combination of distribution methods develop. Regions with limited access to renewable energy will look to import green hydrogen, while renewable-rich regions will have excess hydrogen to export. Cummins has a range of electrolyzers for both large-scale centralized hydrogen production, as well as smaller on-site production systems designed to service return-to-base fleets. Cummins has already delivered electrolyzers for more than 60 hydrogen refueling stations across the globe. Having accessible hydrogen makes fuel cell-powered transport a more realistic option. And having accessible green hydrogen for fuel cell vehicles will play an essential role in the decarbonization of the transport sector. Within this decade, both the price of renewable power and the price of electrolyzers are projected to continue to decline, making zero-emission hydrogen fuel more cost-effective and widely available. With 584 new hydrogen fueling stations deployed last year, the market is witnessing a dramatic acceleration in growth. Cummins is proud to be a key supplier in this movement. Let's talk about the future. Let's talk about hydrogen.